All right, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the macro tool. Uh, it's very easy to get to. Uh, you can either just type slash GRM macro. Uh, you can type slash GRM promote, demote, kick, tool. Uh, you can also find it right here. This is useful because it'll tell you how many people match the certain rules given for all three of the kick, promote, and demote. So I've got 24 people to kick, six people to demote. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that up. And let's first take a look at our kick rules. So the way that this works is you have uh, three different settings. And you can create as many rules as you want. So you can kind of have overall rules, and you can also have overlapping rules. And so you can actually have uh, a rule, uh, a person match more than one rule. Like, for example, you might want to just kick people that are the lowest rank who have been inactive for, let's say, a month. Um, but maybe you don't want to kick everyone in the guild, so you have an overall encompassing kick rule where any member of the guild that's been inactive for, say, a year. Um, so the way that you can build these rules, you can either create a new one or you can just right-click, and we're going to edit it. You can name it whatever you want. You can have it apply to all players, just alts, just mains. Uh, just be aware that uh, the server does not provide alt main info. Uh, this is something that you have to actually configure with Guild Roster Manager. So you actually have to right click someone's name, set them as, as the main as part of an alt grouping. In fact, if the main has never been set, we don't know whether that person is an alt or main yet. So the add-on will only consider alts if it's been configured. Uh, I'm just going to keep this rule very simple. I kick inactive players if they've been offline for 18 months. <laughs> um, I'm going to apply it to all ranks. I'm going to apply it to all levels. I'm not going to do any kind of fancy matching. But you can set it to apply to certain ranks only. Um, this little feature right here, let's go ahead and uncheck this. This is, uh, this is something where if you want to completely ignore inactivity, let's say somebody's been sitting at a rank for six months and they've never received a promotion, sure, you can go ahead and just kind of configure that. But if I check this, this, this uh, it's, it's one or the other. Um, I'm going to keep it just all level range. You can apply it to people, whether they're uh, any of the reputations, um, text match, that's something. If you have a specific note or specific tag that you want to text match to any of them, feel free to do it. So let's just, I'm just going to do this as a demo. I'm going to confirm this. Uh, oh, there we go. Apply to all ranks. Confirm. Now it'll say what rule they, they're matching and it'll tell you why. So like for this one, the rule is inactive greater than one and a half years and they were last online and it tells me how long it's been since they were online. But now I'm noticing somebody, let's look at this guy right here, Bin Bash. I know this guy is active, he's one of my officers. Uh, so what's going on here? So what I wanna do is I, I, there's another setting in the rules, only recommend to kick if all player linked alts exceed max time. Now this guy, and you'll see that they disappear from the list. But let me go ahead and uh, reopen that again. Whoops. Let me edit. And I'm going to bring up his window. And let's go to the main right here. And you can see that he was online 15 days ago. It's just he has kind of some inactive alts. I know some guilds, they don't like that. But, you know, we're, we're pretty casual. So, you know, maybe one day he'll log in on that inactive alt again. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. So we'll go back into the rule. We're going to make it so we're only going to recommend to kick them as long as all of their tunes are inactive. And then you'll see that it clicks, it, it, uh, removes quite a lot of people from the list. I had 24 and down to 13. Well, now I'm in another situation where I'm looking at this person here, Phosphorus. This guy is somebody that that uh, is an old uh, YouTube streamer guy that's friend still. He just doesn't log in as much. So I'm going to bring up his name by control clicking it. And I'm going to come to these macro rules. 
and I'm going to keep him safe. So I'm going to protect him. I'm going to have him be completely ignored from the rules. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, and you can see he's being ignored now. But you know what? I want not just him. I want all of his alts to be protected because I still have Fossix. And I still have Varlock on here, which are inactive. So I can go ahead and uh, send these to all of his alts. And, uh, and so now all of his alts are now sharing the same ignore rules and they're all being protected. And you can see if I come over to the ignore list, they've been added to it. And it tells me, well, what's the ignored action? Well, it's kick, but we're not going to do it. So this is just a demo, just to show you how simple it is. Uh, we're going to build the macro right now. You click it one time, and it's going to tell me when you're ready to remove the players, just press the hotkey, Control-Shift-K one time. Go ahead and look at the chat window, and you'll see what happens. Uh, in fact, I'm going to enable the chat. Uh, just so we can see it. As you can see, the add-on picked up the, all of them that, that were kicked instantly. And I have a little validation check here just in case, because sometimes, let's say if you're lagging, you don't want the add-on to just instantly recognize the changes. It has to be validated with the server first. Um, if it hasn't been validated, it'll give it a second, and then it'll recheck with the server again. And then if it fails a second time, then it lets you know you might want to verify that that change was registered by the server. There is another issue where if you have another add-on that has tainted certain actions, this is where like a, an error pops up on your screen that says an add-on's blocking an action. Well, if another add-on did that and you're trying to use a macro, this, that actually, nothing happens but you don't get the pop-up window when you try to use a macro. So if you're being having actions blocked, that's important to know. So let's go ahead and go to the demote. I created a demote demo where I'm just going to take players that are this rank. <laughs> They've been inactive for 12 months, and I'm just going to demote them. And I'm going to demote them to the lowest rank. I'm going to show you how simple it is. So I'm going to build the macro. Well... The problem with promotions and demotions with the macro, you cannot jump ranks. They can only be promoted or demoted one rank at a time. Uh, it's just a limitation of macros that hasn't been opened up. Um, <laughs> well, let me just respond to this guildy that wants back in. Probably coming back to the game with... Uh, they're probably going to freak out. Okay, and as you can see, just as a use case, Arkan has reinvited Ico. He uh, he just left a couple days ago, and uh, he's coming back. He's probably just checking something. So I'm going to go ahead and build this macro just as a demo. <laughs> Guildies probably won't know, and uh, you'll see I have to hit it seven times for the action to register. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, the changes have been validated. And so um, you can see how easy that was. I dropped all of them seven ranks. Now I'm going to come to promote because I created a counter rule to put them back into their place. And so I'm going to quickly promote them seven ranks as well. And it is really that simple. As you can see, the macro rank changes have been validated. Now, it's worth mentioning that uh, you have to be careful not to hit it too fast because the server does need to register it. Um, it does register fairly quickly, but if you try to like stick the uh, hotkey uh, macro to like a scroll wheel action or an auto clicker like a Logitech G key, uh, you're going to get into you can get in a problem where it won't register them fast enough at the server and you'll un end up with invalidated actions. That's really not a problem as long as you just give like a quarter of a second, half a second between each hotkey press. Anyway, hopefully that saves you guys a lot of time. If you have any questions or suggestions on filters, 
Please let me know.